stuff. Good stuff. Holy crap. <laughs> and uh, tonight at the Muse Ballroom here in Salina, Kansas, 1700 West Beverly Drive, Samuel Band. Saturate, I believe. Hope they're coming. I don't know. Breakpoint Method <laughs> and Future Leaders of the World, which yeah. Future Leaders of the World is the whole reason you you're coming. Gonna, you weren't going to perform here tonight, but you are going to. Yes. <laughs> Apparently you are on the bill that now. Was a, tell me a little bit about this song. Uh, this is like your acoustic version of it or what? I'm going to say a lot of stuff yeah, there you go. Yeah, a lot of the stuff we're going to play uh, for our acoustic set, we actually keep acoustic. We have a couple that we, that we uh, took for, that were harder and that we turned acoustic for you guys. But um, most of uh, the stuff we play on acoustic, we play acoustic on stage. And uh, believe it or not, we opened up for when we opened up for Candlebox, but on uh, Eve 6 and Saliva at Midwest Rock Fest last August for last year, for the last series. Um, we played on acoustic and we, we sounded just as hard as these other bands on electric, so we throw off hard on acoustic. So we do the city venues and we can do hard venues on acoustic or electric, so takes very little to baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're beating the hell out of the you're beating the hell out of the drumsticks, brother. <laughs> and that's that's just a great sound with brushes, baby. You know, oh yeah, that's I mean, you're, you're not playing a, a foxtrot or nothing. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, and you're like not going to be doing jolly mixers anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and like and like that song we just, we just played, face. Uh, normal, like when we do it on a harder set, it's much louder. Uh, we sing much higher, and uh, you know he's not using the brushes. I mean, we just subtle changes like that for an acoustic set just seem appropriate, you know. So it's excellent. That's excellent. a hell of a deal. So. Uh, what do you got for us next? Well, what next uh, we're going to do an acoustic version. This is the first time we've ever done this acoustic, but uh, we're going to do a song that we wrote for Burgundy to sing, and I think you guys will recognize it, so check it out.
stuff. What's the matter, Jiggy? All right. More good stuff. We're just getting greedy. <laughs> I know we got the radio listeners more than we do the, the live stream listeners, but. Aha. Uh -huh. Or live stream viewers. As I viewers. Say. Well, uh. All right, let's do a big. It's like we're having a battle of the bands. We got Brian Felty's and Hysterio, and you guys and your original music. <laughs> it's a hell of a deal. <laughs> now what? Uh, that was. This next song we're gonna we're gonna play for you is called Big. We actually wrote this one for Hutchison for where we're from. You know, be proud where you're from at. So big, like so. not small. Yep, doing okay. it big. Like doing it, it not to be confused with the guy from Sex and the City either. Yeah, and then the name of the song's Big. You say that. Yeah. Doing it that big. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and um, all right, um, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Amidst and, uh, amidst sound check, so <laughs> you know you, you you can enjoy multiple. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Give her hell.
what? <laughs> wow. You're listening to the world famous Cheeky Jig while you show all over the damn place. More and, good uh, stuff going on. Ross Boy, the boss, we, we've, get, we've got a quite a few firsts here on KJAG Radio and livestream.com slash Jiggy Jaguar. Yes, indeed. It's the first time Bernie's been on here and she's not pregnant. You're pregnant? She was. She was. You can do something your brother can't. I can't. Your twin can't. I can't. <laughs> and, uh... Is that Mike on? It seems like it seems like when 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 they get done playing and they start talking to us, Felties decides to pump the system in the other room. It's yeah. a hell of a deal. And, 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 it's, <laughs> and it's some weird eighty stuff. It's always some weird, you know, like a stuff. Well, see, like when 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 Tim Dixon like puts, Usher. When, when Tim Dixon puts videos up on his Facebook page, you probably can bank on it. They're probably booked to play here. But when Felties just plays music. He's just screwing around. Yeah, what is this? Pyro <laughs> gyra or what? <laughs> as long as he doesn't play, as long as he doesn't play the Cocteau Twins and um, Billy Idol, we're good. But they say sound men. That's who they ought to bring in. Where's Tim? We need to get Billy Idol. They need to put Billy he, Idol in the Muse Ballroom. Isn't he dead? That would rock. Or Billy Idol. Dead. Here, you could probably get these guys for probably about a thousand bucks. Billy Idol, Lover Boy, Eddie Money, and Huey Lewis. Probably all of them like a thousand bucks. And we'll call it. They the, ain't doing nothing. And we'll call it. Billy Idol would be awesome. We'll call it the. And we'll call it. And we'll call it money. He's great. And we'll call it the White Wedding Tour. That's right, the White Wedding Tour. Eddie Money. Um, and we would probably be able to go to a. Sh- we that, that was be probably the, before all you all were born. I remember be, that. It stuff. would be the first yeah. Eddie Money show that I ever attended. That another radio station didn't try to have me arrested and thrown out of the park. They usually do that. <laughs> Get down from there. What are you doing up there? <laughs> what are you fucking in the board? What do you mean you got an interview? <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> we paid thousands. <laughs> uh, we called the tour manager. We called the tour manager. That's right. Now. Uh, how long have you guys had this lineup? Because I've known you guys have had like a uh, bunch of different lineups. I've been with the band. I'm the newest member, and I've been with the band for two months, maybe two and a half months. So, some good bass work coming out of them. You gonna keep them? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. He he haul he hauls stuff better than anybody, or at least <laughs> <laughs> I'm, stuff I'm my own roadie. There you go. <laughs> Hey. What is this? <laughs> is that Michael Jackson he's playing? That's we're play later. For all those of you that are seeing this right now, be here. Seriously. He says, he says oh, we're going to play. Let's just say it in the, in he the microphone. We're play be here. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We're going to do stuff really good later. Just wait. This is really soft. Is everything going to be of the I feel early like the baby 80s this genre? <laughs> like, like Super Freak. And Michael Jackson. Who brought up Weinhofer's name? No, I should. I, I only do that because they know Dutch. I know Dutch, and there are certain selective people. Is that, who the, is that the chick that don't go to rehab? No, D- D- Dutch. Dutch. Dutch does not go to rehab. No. no, Amy Winehouse is the one that doesn't oh, go to rehab. I say new, no, new. No. Michael Joshua Myers, who you know, is the one that doesn't go to rehab. <laughs> but, uh, I thought that was. Cowboy Vic. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Cowboy Vic. He, he falls to- down my stairs. <laughs> We're going to let these guys jump oh, into yeah, the next Oh, yeah, that's song. right. He just goes to jail for not paying his tickets. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. <laughs> so, what's next on the agenda here? I was drunk here? at the time. <laughs> is that mic on? Yeah. It is on. You're sure it's flipped up? Oh, there. there. Can you hear me now? <laughs> How about now? Oh, you're real good now. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Michael Jackson, we do have a tribute to the last verse of it. There, the <laughs> and uh, it's called One Hit Wonder. The well, song it's is appropriate one that, that... And uh, uh, actually, uh, Bird is here. I wrote it like two weeks right before he passed away, so... Okay, he said you feel He feels a little responsible. <laughs> So this is one hit wonder. It's appropriate that uh, they're doing Michael Jackson stuff, and they're white because he died white. <laughs> Take it away <laughs> with that. You gotta love America. One hit it's the wonder. Only place where a black guy can become a white woman, and we love him for it. White woman, white weddings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs>
quite interesting. <laughs> How long does it take you to put some of this stuff together? Just Minutes. the arrangements and... That's a, that only depends on our, our level of sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the last uh, the last arrangement that we just did, uh, we uh, we put it together in a, a three hour practice. Yeah, and that's not all we were playing. That's it's not right. usually pretty much. Jim shows up for practice to see what Burtis has come up with, or they've come up with together, or we've come up with together. And be like, okay, so what's new today? <laughs> what are we going to chop up today? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to chop up today? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yesterday, the word, the word of the night was throat chop. Yeah, that was the word of the night. Was throat, throat chop. Throat, throat, yeah, that's a new single we're going to be writing. It'll be coming out within the next couple months, so look for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. It's going to be good. So, uh, you, get to talk about this you guys have uh, you guys got a hell of a mix of musicians and why why is it this is the group because i've seen the samuel band in like eight other different versions <laughs> yeah. well actually actually we went through uh unlike most bands don't usually go through this turn i mean we have the first year that the samuel band was together which we started uh, valentine's day 2009 we have more turnover than mcdonald's dude I mean, <laughs> more turnover yeah. than McDonald's. and they all they they quit they you know they quit without notice and it's understandable some of them had school some of them had family issues and stuff that you know and it was and it, we still talk to all of them we still do re, uh, you know reunion uh, we got a guy coming out November nineteenth that uh, used to play bass for us but he that has turntables so he's gonna play turntables with us at the Rock oh. and Roll so that's it and we're you know we still keep in contact with these guys and we're, they're still very much a part of of what we're doing they just <laughs> couldn't take the front you know anymore okay so so. Basically, there's enough turnover in the Samuel Band that you could have yeah, two a or three a other larger Samuel Band. There is of current members. You could you do a Samuel band, band tribute band? It would be a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever think of maybe doing a uh, seasons after tribute band? <laughs> I'm trying to get some band to do that. He's That'd trying to get awesome. a seasons after <laughs> tribute band together. Since you do other people's music, you could do. Well, they just got oh, a new okay, singer. I've seen, I've seen, I'm so we could do cry on little sister. You know, I, I, I do it so song. bad. That was our soundtrack pick on our countdown. And we had. Do it, and <laughs> love we, that song. And we we filmed them doing the acoustic of that, and it was awesome. Yeah. But you would do it better because you're not drunk. Always trash seasons after. We're actually really happy. We, even though we went through ten people within a year and a half to find the right group, we've never missed a show, never canceled a show. Um, and we have shows booked every weekend. I mean, we're we're very. Active and he showed up here today. And yeah, got booked on a show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll be here tonight. Unexpectedly. Yeah. <laughs> but if this is the final group because um, we we're all we're pretty seasoned at what we're doing. Um, all of us has been have been playing in the music field uh, about ten, you know over a decade at least a piece. Yeah. God dang. And uh, I mean, honestly, I mean, most of us. I mean, me and Jim are married. Uh, my sister might as well be. I mean, her and Twinkie might as well be married. They just had a baby together. <laughs> and. Yes, uh, the, the no, we love freedom of speech. Say whatever the hell you want. Yeah, but <laughs> I went to court for four hours defending freedom of speech. So yes, you, 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 can, right you can do Sometimes what you want. Sometimes it gets expensive, but, <laughs> but we're, I, mean, Sometimes I don't know. We're all past our college expensive. phase. Latvia. Everybody goes to the college phase where they where they chase pussy around, they chase girls, and they're and you know they're trying to do to uh, uh, look. You just can't do that and commit to something like this at the same time and all of us kind of have all that already taken care of so we have we're all ready and have the time available to commit to this and uh you got to be like the beatles before yoko ono yeah well, right yeah right. absolutely right. It, ugliness in the band does just not work no right, i'm sorry but i mean our, i mean our, our wife, and i'm proud wife, of you yeah. because you've got a girl in the band yeah, that's it's right. Important to have a Bruce girl in the on band. the loose would be very happy with this because Bruce on the loose our famous drunk from salina who my co-host from the TV show, Jiggy Jag TV, Cousin Chris, would say he's going to die in a trash can someday. But um, he would <laughs> or die at a bar. Um, Dutch's cousin. Your buddy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he ba Bruce always asks all these bands, how come there's no girl in the band? So there's he, he wants band. he wants to perv out or something I don't know. Well, my, posi my position in the band it wasn't I just joined actually when I was probably about six months pregnant, yeah. but actually you were showing I then, huh? Yeah. I mean, me and my sister but, have been together since we were kids. I've been trying. Yeah, yeah. She just had it was other things going on. Yeah, so it was finally time. I was playing bass for a little while. 
until the baby knocked it off my lap. It was time to stop playing bass. Yeah, at, at Rockfest. The boyfriend <laughs> had to cover for her. I had to entertain the bouncers. that crazy? <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> well, I, well our, the guitarist and ba the bassist we had at the time, two weeks pr uh, prior to opening for Sticks and Nelson at uh, Rockfest this year, uh, just, quit. just quit. I mean, they, they yeah. left and had other things they had to do, so I had to, <laughs> I had to find, I had to find somebody to, you know, to fill in for a big show like that. So was so your baby born in the back of a bus then? No. I mean, are, no. are you that dedicated to the band? <laughs> you actually took a oh, few days off. Everybody did think I did get quite a few. <laughs> I yeah, we, yeah, we did. Yeah. We we had specific time for that. All right. Although. Um, they did think I was going to have it right there on the stage at Rockfest. Yeah. <laughs> they were pretty sure of you it. Know, it, it, it. When women used they to have babies, sure they, they, they'd have their babies, and then they'd, you know, within a half hour if they had their babies, they'd be back out in the fields working. Yeah. She played a five-hour show at the state fair three days before she had the baby. Two, two days. Oh. Two days before she had the Damn. baby. And we had that, that show there, and then we had a show prior uh, the night before yeah, at the W, w. w. with, uh, with Benita Murray. And you only have one child Matthew, now. Who's here tonight as well. Um, because we played yes. with him at Wake the Dead, so she played two shows. And he was nine this pounds. Was, this he's was nine pounds first, seven ounces. He this was your first baby. Yeah. Damn. She's a trooper. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's a trooper. Oh yeah, that's I play. A, I, that, I was playing that show with five minute contractions. That's almost as good as having, uh, you know, having it in, <laughs> a, in, in the back of the trailer. <laughs> in the back of the trailer. <laughs> Now, uh, Samuel Band, of course, is going to be part of the big uh, Moonlight T Drive thing, I believe. Tell us of some of the other groups that are going to come up um, while we're here at the Muse Ballroom, the beautiful Muse. We're, Haystacks. All we're, all we're doing, uh, we're, we're, in a, we're in a bar right now. You know right who now. Haystacks is? Hand this man a microphone. we got to chat about Haystacks. Because I don't know who the hell he is. And that's going to be a big show. I don't know who the hell the guy is, oh, but I list. went down to the good old city in McPherson, Kansas last night, and oh, everybody no, no, in the world no, no, knows no, who no. Haystacks is. Huh? Hard to love. Haystacks. <laughs> who is Haystacks? Haystacks. I'm going to that concert just so cool. for that right there. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh -huh. yeah. yep. uh -huh. yeah. I almost got mobbed the other night. I almost got mobbed the other night by a buddy of mine. Yeah, that's the only elementary school. Is like you got, they got haystacks coming to Salina. Michael Phelps does not sound that way, but that's fine. Um, no, he swings, but, doesn't he? Haystacks, man. People haystacks, love this guy. Tim Dixon said he's been getting like and thousands of calls too. about this guy. Soulfly is going to be here as well. Soulfly is going to be December here 1st, with the straight line right? stitch. December first, yeah. Soulfly, and, uh, oh. Oh. Texas Hippie Coalition. Oh, okay. oh TSC. Uh, we played with them at Rockfest. Now, of course, yeah. I am being pestered by my brother-in-law, Sam, to get on the bill with Texas Hippie Coalition. Oh, THC can't well, go what, wrong how, there. What you on the bill? What? He wants to be on the bill. He wants to play with Texas Hippie Coalition. He wants Blood Bone Dry to play with Texas Tell Hippie Tell him, Hippie give $5, his $5,000. We'll make <laughs> <it happen. laughs> Hey, you know for $5,000, I get a divorce from his sister. But the thing is... <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, nice. it, does, it doesn't work just to unfriend somebody. You just on can't Facebook. unfriend somebody on Facebook, Jamie. <laughs> and call it a divorce. Let's see what, what what else we got coming up. We got THC. We got Haystacks. Texas big hippies. Deal. Uh, the, the uh, <laughs> he's working on a big New Year's Eve. He's working bash. on a big New Year's Eve bash, and he's working on some, as you call them, washed up '80s rockers for next summer. The hair band. Hey, wait, I was born in so, the 80s. Um, yeah, but and you and didn't a door live popped open, so I think Tim might have snuck in here, so I can't say anything. You weren't there yeah. in 81 yeah. dancing to uh, uh, Super Freak. Yeah, we were born uh, in, I was born in 81. You know okay. what they need to get in the Muse Ballroom? Coolio. Coolio? Coolio in the gang. Oh. Coolio in the gang. No. <laughs> you know what they need to do? They need to get, they need to get cool in the gang. Boy, is that some shit. And then they can have them play a all bunch of swing. A bunch of 50-year-old black guys. <laughs> 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 then we'd, right. we'd have to bring in a car and like have people hopping out of the trunk, you know. I mean, if you have There's a rumor that we're going to do. That, um, that's right. Yeah. Potentially maybe hair. something to do with yeah. Bone Thugs and Harmony, but I can't say anything. <laughs> But I just did. I've said too much. Damn By the way, we're in the Muse Ballroom, 1700 West Beverly, right across from the Shady Band, <laughs> Shady Band trailer, uh, trailer Court. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but boy, you come in, and we're in there. We're, all we are, 
we're in the bar right now. They must have a thirty foot bar. It's 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 great. All these padded seats. We literally seats. could just have the show in here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're we're showing shots of it. Um, we can uh, fire code lets us put one hundred fifty people in this room. Not now, but right. We, right. Just, we could. It's like a mini uh, two thirty two North Santa Fe. People. It's right. It's a mini two thirty two North Santa Fe. That was 150 sounds brought to you by Burgess Martin. <laughs> is he is he gonna pull a Peter Frampton or something? And yeah. you're about bam, this. Bam, 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 okay, bam. this is actually gonna be live. Auto tune. This is gonna be live. Okay, you you guys haven't seen this yet. Wait, wait, and change your diaper now. And the, this is way more impressive than Peter Frampton. What are you don't do that. You don't do that kind of heroin, or what? I don't weigh enough. Check us out at livestream.com slash jiggyjaguar. Also jiggyjaguar.com and uh, archives coming very soon to. And then uh, jiggyjagtv.info. That's the easiest place that's to right. see the archives. Rosslong.info. I bring. Let's point a camera. Okay, where thing. we got? Where, right where down do you want? here. He's, What's going uh, on here? He's uh he's doing what we like to call the tap method. Um, if, if many, any of you ever seen the movie August Rush? Is kind of where it was brought out. So. No, uh-uh. I can remember <laughs> 1935. <laughs> no, no, Cab Calloway did did, boys, a, did, a, did a reefer song, and right. the bass player yeah. did it. I, I, I saw the footage last night, so they can't lay claim to this. But no, I've never seen it on a guitar. But uh, <laughs> we still and, love um, it. So this is a song um, that he wrote called "Lifted." Lifted. Lifted. <laughs> Was silence. What the hell was that? <laughs> I think we need an applause from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. I, I guess you've heard of uh, Stanley Jordan. What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> are you doing? He would be proud. 
Um, that's just amazing. Uh, all that's those that's better than getting Peter Frampton and, and somebody, some rapper, to do right, auto tune. Even Eddie yeah. Van Halen can't do that anymore. Or he never did. Van <laughs> Hagar? <laughs> ben, I got uh, all of my arms and legs right now. <laughs> What'd you think, stunt boy? Hell of a deal. You pay your way in here. All right. <laughs> you pay your way in here. <laughs> so, tell me, wait a minute. Before we get off of this hammer-on thing, um, do you do like Stanley Jordan? Do you, uh, I understand he, he, he tunes it in, like, perfect force. Yeah, I actually have, I have my... Uh, my yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can hear what I'm saying. There you go. Um, I actually have my guitar tuned in. A, I call it my dad tuning. Uh, D A D D A D. I mean, it's like dad, dad, just one note off. Dad, dad, and it's a, it's a very clean, open tuning. Right. Um, uh -huh. It took me a while to learn some of the chords because some of the chords you have to stretch like five frets, and I got small hands. Somehow I do it, but it took me uh, about six months to figure out most of the chords. It's a it's more like an embellished drop D kind of, and uh, but the wow. open sound, especially with the harmonics, having the the the, the, the notes that are doubled up in the same, uh -huh. it, it gives it more of a, a more thickness, you know. So. And is it? Um, is it like your pickup? Is it real sensitive? So it, it's, yeah, it's, just it's picking up those those yeah. harmonics real. Well, it's a basic, it's a basic, uh -huh. uh, just a basic pickup, and um, it's it's all about how you hit them. The harmonics you have to hit them just right, and it took pra practice, 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 practice. I mean, it, yeah, it, it it sounded like four or five guitars going yeah. off on that. It's, yeah, yeah, that's just that was just amazing. Forget about well, the guitar masters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forget, forget about that circus I had down at the stage. Yeah, and our harder set <laughs> even got other stuff. Right now we're working on doing a. Um, yes, and it's true. Uh, by New Year's, I will be the only guy in this area doing a backflip with a guitar on stage. So. Our electric without setters. a, without a uh, uh, trampoline or any yeah, kind. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Just freestanding. Just yep. Do a backflip. Take two steps he and do a backflip with a guitar in my hand. He can do it okay. while playing. Yep. Okay. While, while playing like sixty fourth notes and stuff. Oh, I don't know about no, that. But <laughs> well, we'll definitely come in on a hard a hard note when I hit the ground. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> so the timing really is, mm -hmm. is essential yeah. there. Boy, acrobatic! It's almost like uh, Cirque du Soleil, but they play. Yes, it's not like to do it. I don't just do it with my fingers. <laughs> we incorporate the whole body. You know, it, you don't just do it to recorded music. Yes, that's what Vegas has become. What's your problem? There? Vegas. All we love Vegas. All their performances are done to can music, basically. They, there's, they, it's all karaoke. It's like a big karaoke show. It's a big karaoke mm. show. They, they 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 run off all the 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 union musicians back in the 80s. <laughs> ran off all the union musicians in the 80s. They did. So next, now we're actually going to do one more acoustic song for you right now. It's uh, called Exactly. It's actually a total twist on words of exactly. Like, that's exactly what I was saying. Exactly <laughs> is the title of it. And actually, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Um, and actually, there's more to come on that. I have to tell you a little more about that, but we're going to go ahead and just show you what we're talking about. You'll, you'll figure it out. Okay. Once again, the Samus Theory. Oh, shit. What did I say? You said Samus Theory. Oh, God. What did I have them in, the, in my mind? I know. The Samus Band, of course. I, I, I Samuel need to be Band's a hell of a lot better than the Samus Theory because Samuel Band actually showed up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and, and they don't have no girls in the band. No, they have and, no and, girls in the band. And they said it was a uh, PMS thing, and I was offended. The, okay, never okay. mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shut up. You play. <laughs>
more good stuff live from the Muse Ballroom here in the great about got about five minutes left folks uh did you have another song that you wanted to do we'll get get right on to it or did you just want to crack jokes with idiots no <laughs> Jamaicans, remember? Jamaicans, Jamaicans what did you say <laughs> Jamaicans okay Jamaican uh, bacons. On that one. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, have 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 you have you seen the Sprout and Darkness? Talk to Ed Baldwin video. Well, that that, that that Sprout Darkness video sent a shot of a lightning bolt of fear down the spine of the person they were talking about. Yeah. We'll have docu- We'll have the whole court trial up on the website very soon. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Marsha, we couldn't get to you this, this, this week. This week, we went too many. Next week, I've got a disc golf thing, so we're giving you a break. But don't worry, we got a complete report coming up. <laughs> As we're played out here on the last minute of the Jig Jaguar show. I'll tell you, it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing deal. Okay, so the last song we're going to play is a song called Choir of Children. Huh? Um, I believe this song was written for our assistant, Alyssa. She's over there holding one of the cameras. You have an executive <laughs> assistant. We Administrative. do. Administrative, Administrative assistant. assistant. Hey, look, it's Beamer. No? We it's got you Beamer. on camera. We got you on, Beam- we got you on the Beamer cam. We're going to send it to the FBI now. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
<laughs> You're welcome. That's all I have to say. You can find out on our MySpace, which is uh, myspace.com slash Samuel Band. Um, and uh, there's actually an anime video. We picked one of our favorite anime, uh, and we did clips and made a video of it. And that's our uh, anti-suicide uh, prevention program. So. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. We, we are we're we're, we're very anti suicide here. We don't just play music. Yeah. We and just if, don't play music. If you guys have anybody that's it, depressed, send them to a bar or call one eight hundred suicide. It's a national hotline. Black that's cool. Suicide, so. Well, one, one. In other words, quit listening to Kurt Cobain or, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Or doing what he does. I don't know. Uh, doing what he does. Yes. That's right. Well, um, uh, well, one one quick thing before we actually two quick things before we uh, take off this. Uh, I got this. one last thing for him. Okay. Are you going to play any of this tonight? Yeah. Uh, what, no, are you going to do that cool guitar thing tonight? I will if you ask me to. I will have. Uh, you should be like Elvis. You just I don't got asked. <laughs> I don't do requests. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if you if you want to see the Samuel Band live tonight at the Muse Ball Room here, they're the, going to be first in the queue, aren't they're they? They're going to be first in the queue, seventeen hundred West Beverly Drive here in Salina. Also, uh, uh, right. saturate, uh, and that'll be our hardest set this evening too. You'll get to see that see, was uh, not even close to stuff. what we do. <laughs> <laughs> not, you we haven't even seen. We definitely right. don't set Actually, still on events. Nobody looks. <laughs> Breakpoint yeah. method also tonight and uh, future leaders of the world. So Sarah Palin will be in concert. Um, we've got. It is um, useless to resist us. <laughs> we've got Remember that song. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's useless to resist us. That's funny. Uh, Pure energy. Check out Moonlight Drive next Saturday. I believe next Saturday, right? Next Saturday. You guys are playing with Moonlight Drive. Over at McGraw's. Uh, have you ever played with, have you ever seen them? Moonlight McGraw's? Drive. McGraw's? No, I'm actually very excited. To and you're, and, and like your former doors. sound man will be running yeah, your They're, your, they're your pretty good. Uh, I, I'm a fan of the doors. Uh, because <laughs> they, <laughs> they do the doors yes, very well. That's very true. To the poetry, to the drunkenness, to the hanging on the ceilings. Uh, I heard drunkenness. We've got the guy, the guy who, pl the guy who plays Jim Morrison really thinks he is Jim Morrison. Oh, yeah. He's out of his mind. As, as long as we he were doing an interview with him, and he grabbed my crotch. I'm like, what? You doing? That sounds. Crazy. As long as he, as long as I don't have to see him expose him. I didn't say it sounded right. I said it I'll sounds about right for yes. that. I didn't yes. say it was right. He's he's, he's, he's different. great. You can check them out uh, November thirteenth, awesome eight p.m. McGraw's Thousand East Fourth. It has to Kansas, rocking on. It's a uh, American Diabetes Association. All proceeds of that will benefit uh, American Diabetes Association. That was like candid mic, not candid camera. And. Uh, that's about wrapping tonight, up for today. Tonight, you guys, uh, have 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 a good show tonight. Uh, we'll we'll That's we'll assault, actually brother. do an we'll actually do an with interview with you guys later that will actually get on YouTube probably. Oh, I don't know, within the next day. <laughs> thanks instead to six, you, Rob. Instead of six months. <laughs> instead of six months. <laughs> and uh, th thanks to Doctor Love for joining us. Uh, thanks Sean to Johnny the, Kim for letting us in here. That's right. Thanks for Johnny Kim for letting us in. We've here. had a successful inaugural remote experience. Yes, indeed. It was almost religious. Hell, hell of a deal, and uh, uh, we'll see you next week here on the World So Famous we don't Jim have it, show. but I'll say dong, 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 dong. That, like, like, <laughs> That's right. We have the the bell, of, and I and yeah, I have and I have. Um, uh oh, what do you got? What? We are the Samuel Band. Wait, 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 wait. I'll get a good shot. <laughs> no. Okay. Are you, you going to do an ID you, for? We don't have this choreographed. You got to do so. an. You got to do an ID for Ian too. Go ahead. <laughs> Right. Yeah, there you go. This is for you, Ian. We are the Samuel Band, and you're watching Jiggy Jaguar TV. <laughs> That'll piss off a Good bunch deal. of people on 9th Street. Oh, okay, God. Now for, <laughs> they, they can't remember the A-Fresh Entertainment. Now. You got you to do an ID for Ian now. <laughs> get back there. Get back there. Get back there. One last one. <laughs> and this will end the show. This will end the show. Uh, it's you need to do the same thing, but for afreshentertainmentmagazine.com. Can you remember that? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> else can. Nobody else can. You're not high. Good. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> yet. So yes. Yeah. And you're watching. <laughs> yeah. You yep. Just. Just. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. It. <laughs> a fresh yep. entertainment magazine. A fresh entertainment magazine. <laughs> 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 we got it. All right. Ready. Here it is. Hi, we got uh, the Samuel, Samuel Band. Band. And you're watching a fresh entertainment magazine.com. <laughs> oh my god, it's the first.
the first best band yet. ever. The best yet. To get the entire name out there. We'll see you next week. Peace and I'm out at 5,000. 5,000. We'll see you. <laughs>